99.5 The X. I know you want to hit that. Ready? Ready? Roll it, roll it. Blando rocking out backstage with Keith from Buck Cherry. And, uh, well, Keith, you walked up on me as I was enjoying my meat. You were enjoying your own meat, which is... Something I don't really like to see that often, but well, sometimes when you're backstage, you, you got to pass the time somehow. You, you got to take the meat when you can get it. You, you do have to take the meat, yes. and something you got to you got to enjoy your meat. You can't just you can't just let it sit around. You got to you got to show love to your meat. Yes, I mean you have to give it a proper attention. You do. Yes. <laughs> No, we're uh, very glad to have you here, man. Uh, excited to see you guys at Carolina Rebellion. Uh, Buck Cherry, definitely not a, uh, a new band to the uh, the big show scene. Are there any bands this weekend that you were excited to see? Well, Soundgarden, obviously. Most know. definitely. Um, very excited about that. And, you know, there's a, there's a young band that we've played some shows with out here called Heaven's Basement. Right. Great guys, great band. People should check those guys out. Very cool. We'll make sure you catch those today. Um, the new album, Confessions, is out. Doing great. And I also heard there was a, a movie coming with that or a short film. Yes, uh, when we did the record, you know, part of uh, that whole process was Josh, um, the screenplay Josh had been working on based oh. on some events of his life. Right on. And um, so the, the record kind of is a soundtrack for that movie. Uh, the screenplay is done, it's scripted, it's cast, cool. locations are, are located. Excellent. Um, and now we're just kind of working on the funding to get it done. Very cool. So we're, we're still working on that. Very awesome. Now, uh, the, the new single, Gluttony, Kicking Ass. Yep. One of, the, uh, one, of my, one of my favorite se Seven Deadly Sins, but I'm curious, what is your favorite Deadly, deadly well, Sin? Well, you know, I get at, we get asked that question a lot lately. I'm sure. Um, and being in a rock and roll band, you know, lust would be the one that occurs the most often. I feel like Buck Cherry just, you, you hear the band and it, lust just comes to mind. That's one of them, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, actually, I remember a few years ago, 2007, 2008, there was a, a big controversy when the song Too Drunk was released via uh, the bit torrents and got out before you guys were able to get it to the fans right and I know there was you know you issued a press release saying you know we want our fans to have the music first have you done different things since then to make sure the music goes straight to the fans you know um, all we've really done is uh, just tried to safeguard everything before it gets released and even then it still leaks you know right um, there's really no way to control that so you just try to kind of keep it as tight as you can and but you can't let it drive you crazy because totally. eventually everyone's gonna hear it and you know from my perspective, if people want to hear it and they're willing to search for it, that's a good thing because people are excited about hearing your music. Totally. Yeah. Well, I always like to wrap things up with something random. And since we started to talk about meat, okay, what, what is your favorite meat? My favorite meat. I'm a vegetarian, so tofu is my favorite meat. There you have it. Tofu, the best meat. Buck Cherry on stage, on tour. Get the new album, Confessions. Keith, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, man. Rock on.